We were made for life together. Some people think they would be better off if they could just be alone and not be bothered by the distractions, irritations, judgments, and criticisms of others. To borrow from the pagan po postmodern philosopher John Paul Sartre, hell is other people. That is itself a statement from hell. It is true that some Christians in the past went off to the desert, to islands, or other places to be alone with God. But if you stop reading at that point, you miss what is usually the second portion of the story when many, many of them were eventually then called out of the desert or the island, sometimes physically brought back by assistance to serve in the church. It's also interesting how one particular man that I read a few weeks ago said that battling the devils in the desert prepared him well for serving as a bishop in the church. When you cut yourself off, though, from other people or from other families, you cut yourself off from God's intended source of grace. The people sitting beside you and around you have a part in your eternal glory. God didn't cause us to come into the world alone. He could have brought you into the world any number of ways, but He brought you into the world by way of a mother and a father. You come into the world in a family. And then families join together in communities. Now this is not to say that all introverted people should then have a majestic change of personality and become extroverted and all the extroverted people should drink coffee and become even more so. We don't have to worry, that won't happen. But it is a call to resist what is sometimes our natural tendency to isolate ourselves. There are times when we should be alone. And sometimes if, you're, if you are afraid of spending any time alone, that itself is a problem. But escaping from people will not free you from sin. It will keep you trapped longer in your sin. So give yourself to the sanding, scraping, and chiseling of being with others. And let God form and complete you in His intended way, which is through the Spirit by way of others.